Hello artists, how are you today? Stephanie Oni coming to you from the banks of the Trinity River here near Willow Creek, California. Oz and I welcome you to the studio. So today we are starting simple buildings. Now don't be intimidated by buildings. They are squares with squares inside of them, right? And a triangle on top. It's a very simple little doodle and you know with this one you can go through and make your blocks of color I just made um, these two and then I let them dry and then I went over the top of them now this one got crooked because I was definitely um, I had the paper turned sideways I do that sometimes so things come out crooked so then I just have to trim them to size now I think these are pretty cool what you can do is very easily cut them out and then you could have little um, stickers or you could have little pieces for your journal, little ephemera. So I think those are super cool. Um, this is day one of houses or buildings. Now, Patreons, you did get your images. Um, so if you want a little bit more detailed sketches, you know, you can always go on Pinterest and find these yourselves. But, you know, it's simple. It, it truly is simple, so don't be scared of it. Um, have fun with it. Uh, make them a little wonky and sideways. Um, you know, this is, you know, of course, some of the images that I found off of Pinterest. They're cool. Just have fun with it. So those are up on Patreon. Also on Patreon on Friday, we will be talking about One Point Perspective. So tomorrow's video is a little bit more of a build video. And then Friday on Patreon, you get your perspective lesson. So just to let everybody know, guys, uh, Patreon is the only way that I really make an income from YouTube. Um, and it's not making it from YouTube. So uh, your support would be greatly appreciated. I have a $10 and a $25 tier. I do want to give a shout out to my current Patreons who are uh, supporting me already. You guys are amazing. And thank you so very much for your support. Um, you get hundreds and hundreds of pages of images and on each page is multiple images so um, I can't remember what I gave you last time but uh, this time today I think I gave you about 20 pages worth of images between the houses and the perspective lesson uh, the worksheet that you can look at to get some better reference and then so you get images from the very beginning of the challenge, uh, channel. And two videos a week. These are full length videos. These are not five or seven minute videos. These are 20 to 30 to 40 minute videos that you get twice a week. You get the build, or in this week's case, you'll get one point perspective. Next week, you'll get two point perspective. You get tons of instructions um, and information and prompts and sayings. You also get a piece of artwork from me when you join up. You get a piece of small art, which I need to make some more of those. So uh, Patreons will be getting an extra video at some point showing how I make those. And then um, uh, the other one is on Masterclass. And we just finished up, oh goodness, just finished up our Masterclass here. This was quite an, uh, just truly amazing project. Um, super happy with how it came out I think it's amazing and uh, you would see all of those videos over on patreon also we're going to be doing the exquisite corpse coming up next Sunday so we will be continuing um, I'll show you how to make this page and then we'll make a couple more of the background pages and then we'll start to work <sighs> all sorts of great stuff I am so glad that you are here with me that you found me on YouTube um, if you can't afford Patreon, I know that some of you can't, and that's completely understandable. But if you can, your support would be greatly appreciated, and I give you a ton of stuff. All right, that's enough blah, blah, blah from me. Here is the video on how to make these really cute, super fun little houses. And uh, I hope you enjoy it, and we'll chat soon. Bye-bye. All right, artists. Okay, well, I like both of these pages, so I'm going to keep these because I think I can make a piece of art out of those. Is it going to tear? I should just cut it. I can make a piece of art out of that pretty easily. 
and I can make a piece of art out of you know some of these little corners or some of those little doodles. I think that'd be pretty cool. So um, looking here to see, look at that gorgeous texture. Um, this, yeah, this could definitely be a piece of art here. All right. I love some of these trees. So yes, I could absolutely, you know, like I like this guy better and this guy, he's pretty cool. This one's pretty cool. This guy's cool. I like these guys. So, um, use them, cut them out and use them in your books, use them as ephemera, use them as stickers, use them however you want to use them. Um, let's go ahead and look here though. Uh, and let's start playing with some buildings. This is just water, just squirting down my watercolors to start them. Um, getting, um, getting loosened up. Yes, yes, yes. All right. So today we're going to take our Princeton synthetic, which I could use a new one of these. My goodness, mine is just kind of beat. All right. I want a purple house. I've always wanted a purple house. We're just going to go like that. I actually want a purple artist gallery, um, gift shop. Always have. Ever since I went to New Mexico. And purple house. So we're just gonna uh, paint in some square shapes. And we'll do a little bit bigger shape here and we're gonna do a roof shape on this one. We'll do a roof on this one too. But this is a b different building, different type of building. Remember, this is just for our doodles. So this does not have to be perfect at all. Just putting blobs of color down in kind of a square shape, right? And with a little triangle on top. Because that's really all that houses are. And then our towns, they're going to be a little bit different. Okay, let's do a long skinny house. That's a grass house, isn't it? <laughs> well, we'll put a big building next to it. All right, and then on this one, I'm gonna turn it sideways because I can. And this is where we need our um, piece of paper towel. All right, we're gonna go here a line. We're gonna go here. Remember guys, I'm using my Arteza watercolor set. I do recommend these. I think that they have great pigment and great colors for the cost. I would highly recommend it. Please use the links that are down in the description. Arteza does give me uh, a commission for um, recommending the product. However, I would not recommend a product to you that I did not believe in. So uh, please know that I do believe that these are nice watercolors. I believe that they're saturated um, and that they, they're, they're good, they're a good product. Okay, so I'm going to let these little guys dry, and uh, we will go from there. Alrighty. Bye. Hello, artists. Okay. Okay. So, I happily used my Arteez uh, watercolor set. Link for that is down in the comments. Uh, remember, there is that 10% coupon. Just use the link to get to the Arteez website. And you are golden. Taking my gel pen now, and let's think about some little houses. They're super easy, guys. Okay. I guess if I put a 
Just make a box, make a triangle, make a door, make some windows. Now remember, we're just doodling here, guys. You do not have to be perfect. In fact, wonky is better in my book. Super simple. I mean, you can always put a little chimney on it if you want to. Uh, let's try that again. Remember, this is simple doodles. Now, I do a lot of these little buildings, and you know, those of you that follow me and see some of my other um, little canvases and stuff, you know that I definitely do this quite a bit. Um, I'm just trying to show you fast, simple doodles. You guys see how square, how easy that is? It's a square, a larger square door, some little square windows, a triangle for a roof, right? So here we're going to take our inspiration from this one. We're going to go here. Right? And look at our, you know, our little uh, borders. And think about how you can even doodle in these little houses to make them more fun and more interesting. Right? Doesn't have to have a door on it. All you have to do to make it feel like a house is have a square with a triangle. And it feels like a house. Uh, here, look, this one has a door in it. And then it has a window right next to it. See how simple? But this thing is definitely cool here. I could use this on, you know, I can cut this out and make it as a little sticker or a little piece of ephemera, very simply. Let's put the door on this side. Step. That one has a very big window. I like the little circular window up top. I think it's a fun design element. But you can always bring your white pens in over the top of it. My white pens don't seem to like to cover this very much, but what is this one? Oh, this is a paint pen. This one is a, a calligrapher pen, quick dry, permanent, opaque. So if I can, if there's any goodies left in there, might not be any paint left in there. Come on. Feels like there is. There it is. There's our little paint. So you can always. So this white paint absorbs really quickly into the watercolor. But I still think that you can make some interesting designs with it. absorbs super fast into this watercolor paper so I really wouldn't suggest using it too much because you're gonna use up all your ink really quick or all your paint that's in here I 
I do dig it though. Kind of fun. Something different. Let's see what about um no, we can use our micron pens. Oh, it says a little guy. Let's we'll take the micron pens into the little guy. Oh, this is a really fine pointed one. Don't press down too hard. Make sure your paint is dry with the micron pens. Okay, the rough surface is hard on the microns. And um, I can't say that, yeah, I mean, it's like a very fine touch here. And we're gonna put a little tree planter right there. And of course we can draw a little sun up in here if we wanted. And we can put one of our little trees next to it, right? Okay, we can draw another building right next to it. We're just doing boxes, we're just doing shapes. See how simple that is? It is, guys. It is super easy to make little houses, little buildings. The main thing that you don't want to do is overthink it. Right? Right? Okay, so then we're going to look at these guys, and these are going to be more like townhouses. Make a little door, little door. Don't limit yourself by what you think that these should be. Make them into whatever you want them to be. It's just squares and they can be wonky and they can have fun and uh, be interesting. You can paint these windows. You can do whatever you want to with it, right? You know, a lot of these buildings in New York have their own little water towers up top. You could do something like that. You know, paint that in. Make steps. That's kind of weird. <laughs> Make a street. Make a sidewalk. Make a tree. Make another tree. Make a fire hydrant. Make a dude walking his dog.
some clothes on the guy. <laughs> Give him a hat. So you see how simple it is? Those are all a little bit crooked because I had the paper sitting crooked. Um, my point with this is don't take a lot of time. Don't think too much about it. Uh, practice until you feel like you can get it done easier. This tree behind that house. That's what that is. That's not hair on the house. That's a tree behind the house. <laughs> I'll make this tree back here. Okay, the house sitting in the trees. Fire hydrant. That does not look like fire hydrant. Oh no. Uh, how about a mailbox? Uh, I keep making these crazy shapes. So I probably should stop doing that. A bench. I don't know what that is. That was supposed to be a step, but that does not look like a step at all. It looks like something crazy here. Well, let's make some lines in the sidewalk maybe, huh? Definitely not into perspective, but you get the general gist. And do it that way, because it's crooked. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, there's some fun little buildings for you. And, um, you know, when we come back on uh, Wednesday, we'll look at buildings a little bit closer. Okie dokie. Mm -hmm. Bye.